It's interview season, and lately I've been getting tons of questions about my interview experiences and some advice for doing well on yours. So today I'm gonna tell you some of my stories and give you some of my tips for doing well on your interviews. Let's get started. Before we get started, I wanna tell you guys about my friends over at Motivate MD. For anyone who's been following my channel, you've probably heard me mention Motivate MD a few times now. And every single time that I mention them, I always say that I wish I had a resource like them when I was pre-med and applying. Motivate MD offers an excellent interview prep service to help familiarize yourself with the daunting process and make you feel comfortable so that you can make a strong final impression. Not only do they have prep courses for the traditional interviews, but they also have a prep course for the new Vita interview, which is the video interview for admissions tool that is new this year. All of the Motivate MD team members are either doctors or medical students, which are exactly the type of people that you want helping you with this process. They also do essay editing, application review, and overall pre-med guidance. Everything that Motivate MD offers is extremely affordable, and if you're having any sort of financial difficulties, you can always reach out to them, and they'll work something out that fits your situation. I'll put their contact information up here and in the description box below. I also have a few links in the description below to some of their services for you to go check out. This is the final frontier of your pre-med journey. If you want to make a strong last impression, I highly recommend you check out Motive AMD. And now, let's get on with the video. So I want to start off by telling you guys some of my interview experiences. My favorite interview was actually where I had a traditional interview that was back-to-back, one-on-one, and they were each 45 minutes long. The reason I liked this interview in particular was because of the sheer amount of time I got to spend with each of the interviewers. For some people, 45 minutes in a room with another person can kind of be a little bit intimidating. For me, I actually preferred it. I really felt that after 45 minutes with them, I got to make an actual connection, talk about everything I wanted to talk about, and didn't feel like I got rushed or anything. Not only that, but one of my interviewers actually went and bought a trampoline that I recommended to him. Another interview that I remember distinctly was a multiple mini interview I had. And I want to say that I remember it fondly, but honestly, it was extremely tough. It was essentially nine minutes per station, 10 different stations, and I just felt like it was the most difficult interview I had ever gone on. I essentially had like one minute to read the prompt on the door, one minute to think about it, and then I had to go in the room for like seven minutes and actually go about the prompt. Some of them were like an interview style, some of them were like an ethics prompt. I had ones that had like actors in them, like there was two different actors and like they'd be crying or they'd be in pain or something or they'd be mad about something and it was so difficult. There was also some where I had to work in a team with another pre-med. When I knew what I was doing, the seven minutes went by fast. But when I didn't know what I was doing, it was like the longest seven minutes of my entire life. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the MMI, and that's because I prefer a situation where I can sit down, talk to them, and make a connection with the interviewer, rather than being tested on my ability to think on my feet and go about a situation that I have no experience in, don't know anything about, and the kind of things that I'm eventually gonna be trained to do while I'm a medical student, but don't really know much about as a pre-med. Nonetheless, different schools have different interview styles, and it wasn't the only school that I went to that had a multiple mini interview. Some schools just do MMI, some schools just do traditionals, and then other schools actually do a combination of both. When it comes to these interviews, every school's different, and you kinda just gotta be prepared for anything that they can throw at you. When you get your interview invitation, it's really important to go through the email and find out exactly what type of interview they're gonna be using. And if they don't have any information about their interview style in the email, you can usually go online onto forum boards and check out what people from previous years said. Tip number one is know your application. They're gonna have it literally right in front of them during the entire interview, and you shouldn't put anything on it that's gonna surprise you later if they ask you during your interview. Your interview is essentially just a reflection of yourself, so you shouldn't have to freak out too much about this. Tip number two, show up early. I actually had an interview where I was sitting in the breakfast at the hotel and my Uber was like 40 minutes away because it was a super small town and the interview started in half an hour. At that point, I was panicking and I'll tell you guys in a later tip how that panned out. Just remember, it's always better to be 30 minutes early than 10 minutes late. Number three, try on your outfit the night before. There was actually an interview where the night before I got curious and put on my suit and put on my tie and my tie actually had this giant crease down the middle. And I think it was because I had it shoved in like a shoe box with my dress shoes and I just forgot about it. And so I put on the tie and it was super creased and I was like, oh man, like I'm gonna go iron this now. But had I waited till the morning of to just put on my suit and everything and notice that there was a crease in my tie, I would have been freaking out knowing that I had to iron it. So again, try on the fit before the day of. Number four, relax. If you were at your interview, you are meant to be there. Don't try to upstage anyone and don't feel intimidated by anyone else because all of you guys are there for a reason. When it comes to your application, you have the capacity to get into medical school at this point. So they just want to get to know you. So relax, don't compare yourself to anyone else, and don't let that imposter syndrome set in. Number five, make friends. You never know who you're going to meet, and making friends during your interview makes the entire process so much less stressful. So earlier I was telling you guys about an interview where I was going to be late because the Uber was super far away. There's a guy sitting at the next table over at the hotel's breakfast place, and he says to me, he's like, hey man, your, your shirt collar's kind of coming up a little bit, and I couldn't get it, so he came over and helped me fix it. He asked me what I was all dressed up for, and I told him I was interviewing at the medical school, and he said his friend was also interviewing. And his friend came down from the room, and they offered me a ride to the interview. We were buddy-buddy for the entire interview, and we're still friends on social media. And a fun fact, he actually became my 24th YouTube subscriber. Going along with that, number six is say hello to everyone. While I was at an interview out of state, I actually chit-chatted with a member of the admissions board. 
he was kind of just standing there and I went up to him and I was like, hey, my name is Sean. Uh, you know, thank you guys for having me here today. And it turns out before moving to go work at the school, he was also from Las Vegas. We spent like 10 minutes talking about Las Vegas, the Golden Knights, and he actually ended up being the guy to call me to tell me that I was accepted to that school. He even brought up the conversation we had. So again, say hi to everyone. Number seven, research the school. During your interview, they wanna know that you also did your research on their school and have a reason for wanting to be there. Number eight, and I think this is one of the most important ones, turn the interview into a conversation. The moment you go from interrogation to casual conversation, the entire vibe changes. You're gonna feel a lot less stressed, everything's gonna come out way more naturally, and your final impression on them is gonna be a lot better. Number nine, ask them questions. People like to talk about themselves. If you run out of things to say about yourself, start asking them questions. Also, they wanna know that you're just as curious about them as they are about you. Some of my favorite questions are, what is your favorite thing about being a staff member at the school? Or what are some of the things about the school that is most exciting to you? Now tip number 10 is for the MMIs. Read MMI books, do a prep course, anything. The MMIs are undoubtedly difficult and there's so many different types of situations that you can walk into. You wanna make sure that you're prepared for a broad scope of them. This includes ethics questions, regular interview questions, actor scenarios, and partner scenarios. Now this year there's a new thing called the VITA interview or the Video Interview Tool for Admissions. Now I don't know a lot about it, but I have it pulled up right here on the AAMC website. It says that the VITA is an innovative tool designed to assess competencies important for success in medical school and in future medical practice. My understanding is that it doesn't replace the actual interview, but it's kind of like a pre-interview thing. Their interview questions target five core competencies, including social skills, cultural competence, teamwork, reliability and dependability, and resilience and adaptability. It says here that the interview consists of six questions and it's a combination of personal experience questions, past behavior questions, and situational questions. You'll have one minute to read and reflect on the questions and up to three minutes to record your responses. And to my understanding, you don't have to do them all in one sitting. Essentially, it's a one-time online interview. You record it and then they send it to any of the schools that you apply to that require it. Now, the thing is, this is new and no one else has had to do this before. And because I have no experience with it, I highly recommend checking out Motivate MD's prep course. I know it's another hurdle in the application journey amongst the other hurdles you have to do to get here, but I know that if you prepare yourself as best as you can and do your absolute best, you're gonna get a medical school no matter what. Anyways, those are my interview experiences and tips. I wanna thank Motivate MD again for working with me and sponsoring this video. Like I said earlier, I wish I had a resource like them when I was pre-med and applying. And again, this is the last step of your pre-med journey. If you wanna be as prepared as possible and make a strong final impression, I highly recommend you check them out. For anyone who's about to go on their interviews, good luck, you are gonna do amazing, just relax, you got this. If you guys have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time.